Today I messed up by taking out my moon cup. So this morning I was half asleep and needed to empty my moon cup, actually generic menstrual cup but irrelevant, since I was half asleep I didn't squeeze it properly to release the pressure so as I pulled it out it hurt like hell. Then it kept hurting, weird cramping pains that aren't like normal period pains, actually, they're quite like the pains I had when I had my copper IUD placed, oh. I had a quick feel and the strings that should be just poking out of my cervix are currently more or less hanging out fully. And the pains are continuing. I let my fiancé know and we realize all the local clinics that normally deal with these things aren't currently open due to COVID, my GP doesn't open for a few hours yet and I don't even know if they're physically seeing patients. I phone 111, the non-emergency number, and after a lot of whom I'm not sure from the advisor I'm told to go to A&E because I answered yes to have you been bleeding in the last hour because period, but also maybe coil. I ended up sat in A&E for about 3 hours, I was literally the only patient there which was very strange. I got told I needed to be taken up to a ward to see a gyno but I'd need a COVID test before I could go up, I don't know how many of you have had to test but it sucks. My eyes were watering and my throat was raw and I was still in a decent amount of pain in my womb so that was super fun. I got taken to the ward, given a mask and told to wait. After another hour I'm seen by a doctor who examines me and decides the coil needs to come out because it's nearly there anyway. So I'm lying there, stranger looking right up my vag, I'm on my period which makes it that much worse and I'm wearing a mask which just adds another element to be honest. The doctor tried to make small talk and asked what I did for a living, I told her and then, because screw my brain I guess, asked how about you? Basically my morning started off great and I never want to do anything ever again, I'm still cramping like hell because my body thinks it's trying to push a non-existent baby out and I'm still bleeding out of my vag. Too long. Didn't read. Today I pulled my moon cup out and my IUD decided to come along for the ride. Today I messed up by smelling my aunt's underwear. So this has been a really confusing weekend for me, so forgive me for sounding tired. My family including cousins, and uncle and aunt, are staying at a hotel until Christmas where we will go ice skating together. We were hanging out at the pool and swimming and such. After we went into the elevator to go back into our room. While we're going up the elevator suddenly stuck really bad. We were all disgusted and laughing at the same time. We were accusing each other of farting. My uncle accused my aunt and they were laughing really hard. A few minutes later my aunt was showering, when she got out I picked up her underwear and laughed and said it was defiantly her. My family looked at me really weirdly and my mom started yelling at me. Too long. Didn't read. Made a joke about smelling my aunt's underwear. Today I messed up by helping my cat kill a moth. Ever since he was a kitten, my cat and I had come to an understanding. Let me explain. My cat generally doesn't like being picked up. However, one time, six years ago, a moth flew into my house. My cat wanted to kill it, but he couldn't reach it. I don't know how I got the idea, but I picked him up to help him reach it. At first, he squirmed, then when he realized he could reach the moth, he forgot about me and proceeded to murder the moth. Afterwards, I'd put him down, give him a treat and a couple pets. And from then on, we had packed. When a moth, spider, or some other bug was out of reach, I'd pick him up and my cat would kill it. Truly a win-win situation. Fast forward six years to today. A moth flew into my bedroom. Just as I get up to kill it, I see my cat staring intensely at it. He's got this determined, adorable, murderous look on his face. As I'm looking at him, he turns to me and I can almost see the pleading in his eyes, please, I got this. Okay, I respond. I pick him up and he starts waving his paws in what are several failed attempts at catching the moth, what the hell boy. Maybe a little rusty at this. Then, in what can only be described a 400 IQ move, the moth flies directly at my cat. My cat panics and flails everywhere. I scream and drop him from about 7 feet up, he's fine. Pain. There is only pain. I look at my arm. In the moment, I have no idea how bad it is, so I just rush to the bathroom to disinfect my arm. Fortunately, it's not that bad. It just stings whenever I move left arm or hand. I walk back to my room and see the cat just laying there. You see this shit? I asked him. He sniffed it a bit and just kind of looked unconcerned. 
May, just a minor flesh wound. Didn't even rupture an artery. My claws must be dull. I mean, that looks bad. I go back into my room and see the moth there. I go to kill it and my cat makes this weird trilling sound. He's staring intensely at the moth eyes filled with murder lust. He looks at me for permission. This time, I killed the moth. Too long. Didn't read. Cat broke our murder pact. Probably should never have formed one with a cat anyway.